Uh, just uh, going over a few things, because I did promise to play through with this thing, but unfortunately, it has turned out to be, I don't want to call it unplayable, but uh, I don't know, man. So my first gripe, of course, with the last video, the nut. It is sticking out almost a whole two millimeters from the edge of the fretboard here. And then I went up and down the neck with this guy and this one's the worst of them all. Like the whole second fret is sticking up like a sore thumb to the point like you cannot play a F. You cannot play a B flat. Just nothing behind the second fret can be played at all. And there are other points throughout the neck, but I just care not to even talk about it. The finish up here, really uneven. I mean, that's, that's just nitpicky, but I mean, damn, if you're gonna spend $1,300 on an Epiphone with, you know, not including shipping and tax, you know, cause some places are doing shipping on top of that. You got finish build up in here that looks really bad. Should have been sanded and buffed. I don't know, guys. I just don't know. I mean, I, I really wanted this guitar to be cool. I really, really wanted it to be cool and actually play and, you know, just be like, hey, guys, yeah, let's do a blindfold test. Hey, check it out. Which one are you holding, an Epiphone or a Gibson? But uh, I don't know. <laughs> and, you know, Ebony's cool. And I don't mind having stripes in it. I mean, Taylor really got me into, you know, playing guitars with striped ebony. I mean, back in the day, this ebony would have been trashed. But seeing it on a Les Paul Custom, I don't know. And on top of that, when I was playing it a little bit, it's, it was the first time I was playing it, not this time. I was getting black dye on my fingers. So it's like, I don't understand how you dye ebony and then you still got, you know, blonde streaks inside of it. I don't know, man. I, I really don't get what the hell Epiphone's doing with this. And I'm going to have to upload them because I don't think this GoPro is going to be able to capture that super glue in the frets and then on the fretboard. But it's real bad here on the third fret. There's a whole glob of it right here. It even looks like this part of the fretboard was filled. It looks like there's a legit hole right there. I don't know, man. I'm just extremely disappointed in the quality and craftsmanship of this Epiphone, and I'm really sad to say that because I wanted this to be cool, but it's it's not even playable. I, I can't even give you guys a playthrough of it. Anyway, have a good one. It's getting sent back. <laughs> Goodbye.